Hey guys, Pete Peppers here, and we're going to talk about a new soft launch title that came out, and it is in the Bubble Witch Saga series. It's got a working title of Wilbur. Um, it may be the final title, we don't really know at this point, but if you're keeping track, it's Bubble Witch Saga number three. So it's the, it's the uh, follow-up to Bubble Witch Saga 2, which came out. Oh, over a year ago now, so. You can see that it's a map-based game like the, um, like most of the King games. And um, these are the worlds. I just started playing it earlier, so I'm going to go back to the beginning and we'll talk about some things. One thing that stood out right away about this one is that there is sort of a boss mode similar to Jelly Saga, but on this, on, in Bubble Witch 3, it is when you get past, you know, an episode, you play a, a level versus Wilbur, so. Go right into the beginning in level one. This is a bubble shooter game, just like the other Bubble Witch Sagas, um, not my favorite type of game. Uh, I don't play any bubble shooters regularly, to be honest. But as far as they go, this one seems cool. Um, I did play Bubble Witch 2 for a while, and I think this is, you know, a little bit more interesting as far as the mechanics go. So we have, you know, our normal levels here where we have to just clear all the bubbles pretty straightforward stuff first levels are always really easy but that gives you a general idea of what things look like and we'll talk about some of the other game modes too so you see here we have different icons on each uh each of the thing so i guess the um, stars those will be the one we just play, which is Race to the Top, sort of, from the other game. And then you see these ones have ghosts. And these are a little bit different. This is a brand new game mode, and we'll look at how this works compared to other ghost levels. So here it says we have to lead the ghost upwards. He sort of floats. You see this line on the screen. That's gonna, if we get him to move up quicker then we clear out the bubbles when they when they hit this line as they scroll down they'll get moved off so we'll just go ahead and smash some bubbles here you can see some of the bubbles have this um, glowing kind of orb going on inside I'll show you what that is that goes off and clears another one and you see the the ghost he kind of goes pretty quickly like wherever there's a space he finds it he doesn't go straight up so that's kind of cool the lines are pretty easy to follow um, as I said that I, I shot one off in the wrong direction but you could switch the colors like you did before and um, I'll try not to let go whenever I'm doing it but you see he he went around and found the, the way up to the top <laughs> So that is the ghost mode, it's pretty cool. We'll play one more ghost one real quick. You can see here we have these, um, we'll see when we get to the top, but we have these orbs that um, are kind of explosions. So that's a new feature. Here we'll get to see how the line clears it out. So he has a, a path up, so those can all get cleared out of the way. And like I mentioned, these are these just, these explode. There, um, I'll hit one right here. They, you can hit them with any color, and they just kind of clear out a square. Kind of a cool animation there where it all comes down. Um, 
it just came out, so I'm sure that there'll be some changes as things go along, but um, I kind of like the animations and the mechanics. They're a little bit... They're a little bit different. Definitely noticeable difference between the last game they put out. So, um, it looks like from this that they're going to start bringing out different versions all the time, similar to how they do it with uh, Candy Crush now. Here, when we fill out the hat over here, I don't know what this guy's name is, but once we fill his hat up, he gives us one of these super shots, and you can actually switch that too. But it's sort of like one of these, but you can fire, so shoot it there, it's going to clear the hole the whole thing for us. So another one of the game modes that we saw... We'll click on this... ...is the uh, owls. And the owls are sort of like saving animals in the other one. Uh, except here they're color coded, so I'll explain how that's different in a second. But you know, we hit red ones with the red ball and a red bubble, and the uh, the red one escapes. So here I can drop down all these, but you can see that since I hit it with the red, the yellows and the blues go and connect with another another red and blue or another blue and yellow um, spot on the board. So they start to build up if you if you don't kind of take your time and clear out the right colors. Got a meter up here, it counts, counts them up. Here we can use this to clear out blues even though it's not blue. It, it basically works as any color. So that comes in handy. <laughs> work our way up here and once we collect these two then that'll complete this level so the, the owls are sort of an old a new twist on an old favorite but they're pretty cool see if I can go back and play him again. Yeah, see it's a defeat Wilbur level and this is the last one of the first episode and then there's another one at the end of the second episode and so on and so forth. So Wilbur's up here he's got a meter and we have to hit him with the bubble. So this was actually a little bit confusing when I first played it so here he can he can bring new ones out you know from this centerpiece. So what we have to do is sort of chip away at the overall structure faster than he can bring them back. So they just kind of come straight back there. But I guess maybe as his meter goes down, then he has less of an ability to be able to do that. So, you know, obviously we're trying to get up here to where we can get rid of these arms and get those out of the way. See, a few less came out that time. If you hit the top, it doesn't bounce back down. Just one thing. Oops, I missed. And then I accidentally shot again. So here we go. That's how it works. You just pick away at the at the thing, and then you can defeat Wilbur. So that's uh, that's that's the gist of it. If you like bubble shooters, you'll probably love this one. Um, made a bunch of videos so that we'll have them on the channel at least for now and 
we'll see how it develops if you got any questions leave a comment below please like the video and subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the latest gameplay previews and all the level videos for the games that we hate we play we keep everything updated as fast as we can and we'll be talking to you soon thanks